after a young woman's super smart, rich, and abusive boyfriend dies unexpectedly, she inherits part of his fortune, but starts to believe she is being haunted by his ghost. There have been so many versions of The Invisible Man over the past 100 years, from the groundbreaking classic from 1933 to the less than stellar memoirs of an invisible man starring Chevy Chase. Because each retelling seemed to lose more and more of what made the original so special, I initially passed on this movie. I felt there was nothing new to explore. But after hearing so many people I personally know and film critics that I respect rave about the 2020 version of The Invisible Man, I decided to give it a chance. As a side note, this is the last movie that I saw at the theater before everything shut down due to COVID. The original movie was a pioneer of special effects, and each subsequent version of the movie always seemed to boast the newest groundbreaking visual effects. In fact, I only saw 2000's Hollow Man, starring Kevin Bacon, because of how mind-blowing the special effects were in the trailer. This latest version of The Invisible Man was meant to be the second movie in a new Universal Monster franchise. But after The Mummy, starring Tom Cruise, flopped at the box office, this movie was retooled as a standalone story that focused more on modern-day current events, mainly the Me Too movement. Now, while there are some good special effects in The Invisible Man, that isn't really what the movie focuses on. In fact, a lot of the special effects could easily be accomplished with an iPhone and some fishing line. It features a great strong female lead who at times reminds me of Linda Hamilton's character Sarah Connor from Terminator 2. We get to see this battered woman rise up and overcome her abuser and eventually find herself. The Invisible Man is a redemption story. It is also more realistic than any previous version of The Invisible Man, featuring technology that probably exists in a lab somewhere which can make anyone the Invisible Man. It has your typical horror movie jump scares, it has some thriller elements, and there are moments where the camera lingers for way too long on an empty room where the tension builds and builds until something small or sometimes nothing at all happens. And it does this better than any movie I've seen since Paranormal Activity. And there's one scene in the movie that made the entire theater audibly gasp in unison. And to me, it is easily the most shocking scene of the entire year. Now, I won't say more than that, but you'll know it when you see it. I honestly can't remember ever having a shared experience like that in a movie theater. The Invisible Man was a huge surprise to me, and it surpassed all of my expectations and now has firmly planted itself as the best retelling of the original H.G. Wells novel. Being forcefully restrained. Empty rooms. Fancy dinners. Ladders with bows. Looking out the window. Playing in the rain. Pouring coffee on the floor.